Are you always confused by all of the buttons on your ultrasound machine? Don't worry, you're not alone. Hi, my name is Jakub. In today's video we are breaking down the most important controls you need to know to get the best out of your MSK ultrasound exams. Power button. This may seem obvious, but knowing where the power button is can save you precious time, especially when switching between machines. Always check it first to ensure your system is on and ready. When you finish the work, don't forget to turn the machine off. Freeze button. The freeze button is like hitting pause on your ultrasound image. It stops live scanning and freezes the current image on the screen. You will use this often when you want to take a closer look or save an image. To review previous images, use the trackball to scroll back. Once you press freeze button again, you can resume real-time scanning. Probe button. Selecting the probe is crucial for musculoskeletal scans. The probe button allows you to switch between different transducers depending on the area you are scanning. For MSK, you will most likely use a linear, high frequency and convex probe. If you want to learn how to choose the right probe, check out my video on ultrasound probes. I will link it in the description below. Stall button. Once you've captured the perfect image, you will want to save it for documentation or further review. The store or save button allows you to archive images directly to your system or machine memory. Clip button. If you want to save clips, press the clip button. You can set the clip to save either forwards or backwards in the settings. Focus control. The focus control helps you sharpen the area of interest in your scan. In ultrasound imaging, the focus is usually indicated by an arrowhead or marker located along the centimeter scale on the side of the image. It adjusts where the ultrasound beam is most concentrated, make sure the focus is placed at or just below the area of interest. You can increase or decrease the depth of the focus, depending on whether you want to scan superficial or deep structures. Gain control. Gain controls the brightness of your image. Too much gain will make your image look washed out, while too little gain will make it too dark. The goal is to adjust it just right so you can distinguish tissues without losing important details. Frequency control. The frequency setting allows you to adjust the sound waves the probe sends into the body. For MSK ultrasound, high frequencies provide better resolution but less depth, while lower frequencies offer greater penetration but less details. Adjust the frequency depending on whether you are scanning deeper or more superficial structures. Depth control. Adjusting depth is one of the most important controls when it comes to MSK ultrasound. It helps you to find the structures you are interested in, whether they are superficial or deeper in the tissue. Start by setting your depth based on the area you are scanning and find you as needed. You can increase or decrease the depth depending on whether you want to scan superficial or deep structures. Zoom control. The zoom function allows you to enlarge a specific area of interest, making it easier to focus on small or complex structures. However, be mindful that zooming in too much may reduce image quality, so balance the zoom with maintaining clear resolution. You can adjust the zoom area as you like it using the trackball. Color Doppler. 
color Doppler allows you to assess blood flow within a structure. It shows blood flow direction and velocity in real time, which can be especially useful for evaluating inflammation or vascular injuries. Remember to adjust your settings based on the area you are scanning to avoid artifacts. Turning the button to the right typically increases the sensitivity of the color Doppler in most ultrasound machines. Turning the button to the left typically decreases the sensitivity of the color Doppler. Power Doppler Power Doppler is another tool for visualizing blood flow, but it is more sensitive than color Doppler and can detect even small amount of slow moving blood. This makes it ideal for examining areas with subtle blood flow like tendon inflammation. You can increase or decrease the power Doppler sensitivity by turning the button right or left. Dual screen The dual screen feature lets you view two images side by side. This is especially useful when you want to compare different views of the same structure or compare injured side to the healthy one. You can also use the dual screen to create a bigger panoramatic image by placing two images side by side. Single screen the single screen button is used to exit dual screen mode. ABC or text button The ABC or text button allows you to add annotation or text directly onto the ultrasound image. This is useful for labeling structures, indicating area of interest or adding notes to the image for documentation purposes. Pictograms Pictograms are small icons on the screen that represent different body parts, helping you orient your skins correctly. You can adjust the position of the probe with the trackball. The angle of the probe can also be adjusted. Selecting the appropriate pictogram makes documenting and communicating your findings easier and more accurate. Print The print button lets you generate a hard copy of the ultrasound image. This can be useful for patient records or to have physical documentation of findings during a scan. It's a straightforward tool, but make sure you have the right settings before printing to capture the image you want. Distance The distance tool allows you to measure the length between two points on the ultrasound image. This is useful for assessing the size of structures like tendons, muscles or fluid collections. Simply select the starting and ending points, and the machine will calculate the distance for you. Angle. The angle measurement tool is helpful when assessing joint angles or angles between anatomical structures. This can be particularly useful for MSK applications, such as evaluating muscle fibers, penation angles or joint deformities. By placing three points at the lines of interest, the machine will calculate the angle between them. Circumference. The circumference tool can measure the perimeter of structures such as cysts, nerves or vessels. To do this, trace around the structure and the machine will calculate the circumference, which can be important for tracking growth or changes over time. Cross-section area Cross-section area is key for evaluating muscle size, tendons and certain lesions. Most machines allow you to trace around the structure of interest to automatically calculate the area. This is particularly useful when assessing the nerve entrapments or monitoring muscle atrophy or hypertrophy in patients. Volume For volume measurements, some machines allow you to combine multiple distance measurements to calculate the volume of a structure such as cyst or fluid collection. This can be especially useful for larger or more complex masses. If your machine doesn't calculate volume automatically, 
you can use manual calculation based on the shape of a structure. The generic formula for calculating volume on ultrasound is length times breadth times height times 0.523, which assumes that most structures are ellipsoid. And that's it! Now you are one step closer to mastering MSK ultrasound. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more MSK ultrasound tips and techniques. See you in the next video.